this your boy boston we is back with another video and right now i'm outside because we are starting a new project today we are setting up this 35 gallon indoor pond cichlid pond at that so this is gonna be super lit man let's get this video started we ain't got much time so let's go so i'm super excited about setting this tank up i just recently got this this is a 35 gallon pond I'm gonna be taking it indoors like the rest of my pond. And I hope you guys enjoyed the pond videos that I've been dropping because those have been hard work. So this one is gonna be another dope video. So we setting this up, this is gonna be for African cichlids. I have a few cichlids already, but we're gonna be purchasing more later. But first thing first, we need to get this set up. We need to get this rinsed out and get the dust out of here. And then we're gonna get that pea gravel rinsed up and everything. So let's get this started. Like and subscribe, let's go. And apparently, I bought the worst hose. This hose is terrible. So we're gonna get that all cleaned out. That should be good. Get it all rinsed out. We'll put that off here to the side. Now, what you wanna do is you have this pea growl, this stuff comes dirty see how dirty this stuff is this stuff comes really really dirty i poked some holes in it last night because it was raining i thought maybe it'll drain a little bit but that didn't do nothing so what i'm gonna do is take this hose and really try to get this hose down up in there as deep as you can get it and you can see all that all that stuff already starting to come out of there while we wait for them pebbles to rinse off Let's get the pond in this location. It's gonna sit right here next to the 100 gallon pond. If you haven't already checked out my last video of me putting this, this whole series actually of me putting this together, go check them video out. Give you a little peek at the fish real quick while we wait. They're doing good, spend the whole next day. So they're doing pretty amazing. I wanna show you guys more fish in my fish room, but I just wanna wait for other videos. So we got the pond in place. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the pebbles that I'm going to be using as a substrate. This is, so these are the pebbles I'm going to be using to lay on top of the pea gravel. This is some river rock I got. I actually got this for another tank, but I can always go to the river and get more of it. This just came from my local river, and I had them a couple of days, had them sit in the water, put some salt, and then I let them sit in some water. I don't know if that did anything, but it seemed to did. But some really beautiful colors on these rocks, so... I'm gonna use this and try to play with it. Actually, I'm just gonna make it, throw it down and make it be natural as can in the bottom of that. So that way the cichlids can um, swim in between and maybe make some things because I don't really have any other escape right now, but I will get some later. But for right now, we got these pebbles and we got this pea gravel and that should be a good start to right now. I had to just take the pebbles out the bag and I just put them in this bucket right here because I wasn't liking how it was draining. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all the way down here as deep as I can. And as this fills up an overflow, once this water turns crystal and clear, and I stir it up a few times, it's gonna be a while to get it crystal clear like I wanted, but once I do get it clean enough, then I'll take it down. So right now I don't want none of this mucky dirt. We see all this water been running off, all that murk dirt. I don't want that in the fish tank, I mean the pond. So we're gonna try to get this as clean as possible and then we will pick the camera back up. Right, so we're finally back in the house. We got everything cleaned up. And what we're about to do now is add some of this substrate to this pond here. And this is where the pond's gonna sit. Um, you get to see the other pond back here. So it's be a cool little vibe or so right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding this pebbles and let's do that. This is super heavy. Just so it don't, you don't just see the black. I don't want to see that. Just so it's aesthetically pleasing. I think I'm gonna add maybe like some potted plants or something here. Um, Cause I know cichlids don't, they eat plants, but 
I'm thinking if I can get some plants that kind of come out the water and then get like a light or something right here, um, it'll work out like that. I got here now is a bunch of that gravel rock that I was telling you guys about. And I'm about to just start adding this to the pond. I think I kind of just want to just pour it in there and then how they fall is how they lay kind of thing. So it'd be like as natural as possible because I don't know, that's just what I think. Uh, this is all set up. What I think I'm going to do now is just go to get the water and we're going to get this thing filled up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So stick around. The thing is filling up pretty good, but I found I, I'm going to add these rocks here because I need some rocks to, to kind of uh, hide some stuff and things like that. So I'm going to add these rocks. The two bigger ones I'm going to use for hiding some stuff. Finally got the water in there. We got the sponge filter on. And we got a little light on there. The water is super cloudy. It's gonna be cloudy. Um, it's gonna be probably cloudy for a while until it's, it's settled. So I'm probably gonna pick the camera back up once the water settles. It might be in the morning, it might be next day, it might be later on tonight. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna let this sponge filter get in here and get the seeding with these rocks that I got and we'll get the fish added in here soon um, I already have a few cichlids that I'll be adding to here and we'll be getting way more cichlids in the future but for right now I probably have um, a few probably like a handful of cichlids uh, some pretty some pretty rare ones too at that um, so I'm excited how this came out it looked good. The next day. So it's been a couple of days now and I let the pond settle and everything is cool. And when I say that this pond is looking really good, I don't know if I should show y'all, let y'all wait, man. Like I'm not done with it and I got so much more I want to put, but all right, here we go. But this thing came out so good, y'all. Look how crystal clear it is. It's drinkable water. Like, oh my God.